I got my first virtual reality system, I, I noticed that there was one game that I played for more than 150 hours. And I was sweating during this. I was, I was feeling like I was getting exercise, and 150 hours is more than I'd ever used any piece of exercise equipment I've ever owned. From all the data that we've collected here in the lab, I can certainly say without a doubt that virtual reality is a form of exercise. We have some games that folks are tapping out close to their maximal capacity and enjoying it and, and having fun. What we used was my ball equivalent, trying to figure out what this person's above resting multiple of oxygen consumption is. So what you can compare this to is running outside. How much is this gaming session equivalent to that sort of thing? When I think of video games, I've always thought of this sedentary thing, you're at home in a couch and you're playing this game. That is the vision that I had throughout all these years of video games uh, and kind of being proven wrong. I mean, I've looked at physiology and all these other things and of course running yoga and exercise, of course rowing and all these other activities will give you exercise, but now with the research we've shown, virtual reality games can do just as good. The Virtual Reality Health Institute exists games based upon how much exercise they can be because one of the problems is if you really do have a system that helps you burn calories at a rate that you don't perceive as being a lot when even though it really is the, the tendency is to get done with it and be like well I didn't really even exercise <laughs> and so you kind of need uh, an authoritative source to be able to say yes in fact you did just exercise and that was a healthy thing for you to do and you can do it again tomorrow and feel good about it.